So I think khichdi there cannot be any complete food other than khichdi which you know calms you down and which can be a comfort food. Hi, I'm Sujita, uh, and I'm a home baker. First, I'm a mother, a housewife. I'm an artist, a singer, a painter. And recently, I've started my food blog uh, and a YouTube channel as well. Actually, I'm a volunteer of uh, Isha Foundation. It's been since 2017 since I have uh, you know associated with Isha Foundation. I started doing my yoga, and that's when I started realizing the very importance of not only food but a lot of other rituals that we do. You know maybe unconsciously in our day-to-day -day life like a simple thing like saying prayer before we eat why do we do that nobody told us but now yes after started doing yoga i understood it very well and now i insist that my family my kids when we eat at home we also pray first and then we start eating as a as a you know notion of thank you to everyone who's involved in bringing the food on the plate If you ask my kids, they will ask whatever my mom cooks is my favorite food. <laughs> I'm so happy that, you know, yes, of course, it's, a, it, it's influence here. When they stay here, they would want to go and eat chicken and fish. But, well, I don't encourage them. I don't know, I'm a very strong supporter of vegetarian food. But also, I'm a microbiologist. I've studied my master's in microbiology. So, I, I you know, know the biochemistry of the body also how it works and that's also one of the reasons I support vegetarian food. Sattvic food, yes, it's uh, again uh, after I started doing my yoga I understood I always knew the vegetarian food is good but sattvic food or live food as we, uh, as we say it's mostly it's uncooked food like salads or fruits and things like that even fasting once in a 15 days, every Ekadashi. I've started fasting also now. That is also very important to give your body a rest from digestion for once in 15 days. Like the Ekadashi comes every 15 days. So yes, like it keeps you energetic throughout the day. Because your body don't have to waste the energy in digesting the food because it is not cooked food. So it keeps you energetic and on your toes full day say in yoga that you should eat the food in one and a half hour maximum after you are cooking it because otherwise the pranic energy is not there in the food so for me frozen food or quick noodles is is a no-no in my house as long as possible so i i try and uh, like from breakfast lunch or dinner i try to cook fresh food and give it to my kids my family I mean, from the microbiology perspective, when I was studying, they say that uh, all the chemicals that is used in non-veg uh, rather than vegetarian food or the fruits and vegetables, because non-veg food, they, they use a lot of hormones and chemical process to, to also save it from, you know, going bad. And also, as a microbiologist, I know that those uh, organisms or bacteria that thrive on a plant cannot thrive in human body because the temperature is different, the human body temperature and the plant temperature. So usually they are non-pathogens, you know, so that's why I keep on explaining my kids that I, this is good, this is not good. Anyway, they are teenagers, so they have their own decisions now, but I think, you know, I can, you know, direct them towards, you know, at least what is good and what is not good, they can take their own decision accordingly. Uh, today, I'm going to prepare khichdi, dal khichdi as we call it, uh, which is a comfort food, I think for the whole family. Uh, wherever you go, you, you go out for a five to six days trip and when you come home, you want to eat something which comforts you, which calms you down and something which you can cook very fast and easy. So, khichdi is the best food according to me, I think, because it has rice, it has dal, which gives you protein, carbohydrates, and when it is added with ghee, it becomes a complete food.
is a khichdi uh, usually rice a bowl full of rice and a half bowl of uh, moong dal you can use any dal but moong dal is because it's easily digestible and uh, you wash it you mix it and usually you soak it for half an hour if possible if you have time Share cook it with a cup full of ghee, homemade ghee. Also some salt, turmeric, and asafoetida uh, or hing, and some curry leaves. On dried red chili, we'll add some cumin seeds. And here goes the uh, the ingredients that we prepare. So we'll wait till it whistles three times, and voila, it's ready. Just to paint since my childhood, uh, and I was very influenced with my grandma because she was a uh, artist, and I used to see her paintings. Mm, she used to guide me a lot uh, during painting. For classical Gokul, I have done my Visharad, and I was I stood first in Gujarat with six gold medals at that time. And then I also passed my uh, radio audition the first try, so I was a proud artist of All India Radio Rajko. I do. I try to teach my daughter, uh, but she's more interested in playing the harmonium rather than singing. But uh, yes, she she is inclined towards art when she does a really good painting and all the art and craft work. She's always she's good at it. Uh, you know, uh, loving memories that is associated with the kitchen because I remember when I was uh, young. Uh, first of all, when when the baby starts eating, you start giving them nine months onward uh, rice water and a dal water. You know, usually because I've done that with my kids, and I'm sure my mom have done it with me. Well, kitchen is something close to my heart, as I said, and and when you pour a nice bowl full of ghee, homemade ghee, the smell itself calms your nerves down first, even before you eat, and it also you know creates some kind of a you know hunger and craving to eat that kitchen. So yeah, just by thought of a kitchen, it it, it really calms you down. That you are what you eat. So as much as sattvic and good food that you eat, you become like that. Your thoughts, your emotions, the anger level, everything is connected with the food. I I suppose because the more spicy or oily food, uh, like they say tamasi in in yoga, your anger level increases. And I have I have felt that when you eat a sa salad and the sattvic food, while uh, other and when you eat a spicy and oily food. You can feel the difference. Of course, you have to be that much um, conscious about what you are eating and how you are feeling after you eat. But yes, that does make a lot of difference. Especially on the Ekadashi day, when you are fasting, you can you can obviously see a change happening in your body. It is a fulfillment that you have done something good to your body today. And also kitchen, you can make it in a so many different, it's a simple kitchen, it's a masala kitchen, it's a vegetable kitchen, the same ingredients, you can cook it according to the time that you have. But even if you don't have any time and you just want a quick meal of kitchen, you can make it quickly. And of course, it's a complete meal, as I said earlier. It also you know gives you the satisfaction or the fulfillment that Yes, you have done. You have eaten a like they say, pool of Brahma. You have eaten complete food today, and you know you you sleep well if you you know have this feeling of fulfillment. You sleep well that night for sure.